Well, hello everyone and welcome to. That's gonna be opening. Fuck you. Okay. Hey. Smooth. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey. Oh, uh, welcome back. Dude, you didn't uh, kill the spook over here. I'm the flashlight guy. Yeah. Look at that. You're useless. All Sorry, right. now I'm mysteriously back after being absent. Although not really absent, but absent. I'm also gonna turn the sound down a little bit for you finally because uh, the game's fucking loud compared to you. All oh, right. Ty, honey. Well, like when I start shooting, I can't Less hear than you. Three. <laughs> Come on, it's supposed to be spooky. Okay. Um, look. Yeah, you know, if you're gonna be useless, I'm gonna be useless too. I'm taking out the rocket launcher. Sounds good. Oh, uh, skeletons. Very spooky. My god! This is, don't do a thing! You suck! Oh, it's spooky scary. Kill him! Kill him, look! What are you- what I'm are playing you? Alan Wake. <laughs> well, Alan Wake, at least he had a gun. All I can do is knock these guys well, around. Yo, my gun! Uh, oh, okay. So this is not really co-op, this is single player. Damn it, What's single player, but like one of those fucking retarded single player where just... Like, oh, I'll, I'll have the mouse, you have the keyboard? D d does anyone actually ever do that? Please tell me no. Ah, uh, rage quit. Did tell me that? no. What's this? What's what? Nerd. What? 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 The fu- This is the tiniest fucking thing I've ever seen. And you missed it. Of course I did. It's the tiniest fucking thing I've ever seen. I have special eyes. Oh, uh, there's a bathroom here. No, it's because I had the flashlight out. That's why. Someone had real problems here. Oh, hey, right, he's still alive. Oh, whatever. Dude, that's good. Dude, that's why you don't go to like, what's that place you pulled play? Fuck that place. Oh yes, <laughs> that joke won't age at all. <laughs> no. Don't walk. Oh, there's guys here. Oh, let me uh, shine the light. Oh. There you go. I made him friendly fire his friend, but it apparently didn't do very much. Oh, FYI, we're still on uber hard. Whatever the fuck that means. It sure doesn't mean much. Uh, I do As I said, the game wasn't that hard to begin with. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, fuck. I just realized. My game is still on lower settings. Oh. Hang on, I don't want to look like shit for the entire game, thanks. No, oh. not, not like anyone can see what you're seeing. I can see what I'm seeing. Rude. I don't even have any grenades. I, I, I hate I hate starting up from uh, default. There we go, now everything's nice and pretty. Alright. You just like constantly spun up. Hmm? I've decided to be unique and use the the, the fucking the chain gun. I'm a special special snowflake. snowflake. Yes, exactly. Yes. Well, that's a one time run tune with things. Do we get do we get any PDAs? Oh. oh, you just fired your gun. You broke your rules for this level. How can I ever trust you again? That's fine. Alan Wake, the light, the flashlight weakens him. It's fine. Alright. I mean, if you want to be that way, I'll just use the pistol. <laughs> See if I give a fuck. Alright, we have we have a PDA here. Oh, and he's got two uh, uh, audio logs, so I'm going to listen to them both. This is the audio log of medical supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated October 29th, 2145. We have exhausted all known forms of drug treatment in hopes of finding a way to abate this strange outbreak of dementia, and I have yet to receive any additional data from the psychiatrists back on Earth. Options are quickly dwindling. Approximately 80% of all extraplanar participants exhibit signs of mild neuroses within the first 48 hours after returning from their expeditions. Within 72 hours, 75% of patients exhibit extreme signs of paranoid delusion and violence. 
We have isolated these cases in hopes of finding the pathogen. As yet, we can find no biological contaminants that would lead to such drastic changes in cognitive processing. It seems that whatever this pathogen is, it attacks higher brain functions and only leaves more basal functions in the lower brain stem. We've witnessed that a high percentage of subjects lose ability for rational thought and communication skills, and then the physical changes become evident. Subjects in this group appear to atrophy. Skin pales, muscles become slack, bone, teeth, and fingernails become almost translucent, veiny sinews of their former selves. I have never seen anything like this in my career. Our observations continue. That was the longest PDA I've ever heard, and there's another one. Have fun. This death of Steve Jensen. This is the audio log of medical supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated November 1st, 2145. Patient 0432, a private Steve Jensen of the UAC Darklight Armor Corps Division, expired today at 1543 of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. This is approximately 110 hours after his return from expeditionary missions. Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions and full-blown dementia. Treatment was unsuccessful. He was the last surviving member of his outfit. Four other squad mates, who also came back with Private Jensen, expired from injuries suffered on that last mission shortly after their return. Before his death, Private Jensen was heard screaming in both English and other languages. Something about demon hordes feasting on our souls. The other language was later discovered to be Aramaic. Due to security concerns in the area, I've secured some armaments within my office. Okay, he didn't tell me the code. Check his email. Um, I, I swear to God, I looked. I skimmed through his emails. He said he just secured armaments in his office. He didn't say what the code was. What a dick. Oh, whatever. I'm sure you have all the passwords. Ah, uh, fine, I'll look it up. God damn. Uh, wait, there's like, how many combinations are there? It's like 10 to the power of 10 or some shit. Math. You do the math. I I'm not mathing. Oh, see, so yeah, I can't actually Steam Community, so I can't, and alt tabbing doesn't work, so yeah, rip. Well, I guess we get it later, or we missed it earlier, so... Oh, okay. we can't really have missed it earlier, because... Your journey is futile. You will die, and your soul will be mine. My soul... You can't really what? Uh, I can't really alt tab and... Oh, because we start the level we without the PDAs, remember? Oh. So we can't, like... <laughs> Can't, we have no power here. Well, I don't know if I got in the last level. I'm assuming I didn't. Uh oh, no grenade. Oh, fuck. I just didn't want to die. Stop being lame and, and go get it. God damn it! You know what? I I want this. So let me go fucking find the code. One sec. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Death the Labs 2A. Frank A. Cinder's email. It's supposed to go to us. We it's 5 We don't have that. Yeah. I, I don't know if we got that last... last. Uh, I, well, if I got that last level. I may have. I don't know. Hey, look. He's got a fucking lunch bag. Oh, Frank. We barely knew the... Sorry, Frank. It's all about his lunch, though. Well, Delta Lab Sector 3 is locked right now. It sucks. No, wait. That sucked. Guess we'll have to play the game. No. Spooky zombie. He's just, he's, just, he's just lying there. Let the dead rest in peace. God, what are you, the trigger? For all you know, you could have gotten up and spook. Yeah, and this book is always the worst. This guy's just a torso. Exactly. It might get up. Okay, it's dead. You went kind of gung ho on that. Who's there? Oh, thank God. You're not one of them. I thought everyone else was gone. I. I was part of this. I helped them. 
the madness of opening to another dimension. Look, I, I don't... We don't have much time. We let it through. The evil. The protective stabilizer on the portal just failed after Petruger took the device. It, it was an artifact we had found in the ruins. He took it into the portal. And hell followed him out. You have to help me first. I'm going to try to get the teleporter systems running again. The areas are destroyed around us, so it's the only way through this part of the complex. You need to find me a working plasma inducer. It's all I need to get the teleporter working. You can look for it in operations. I have a security clearance. I'll unlock some doors for you. There. We don't have a lot of time. Please hurry. Alright. Uh, did you download the thing? Yeah, I did. I'll, I'll look at it. Fine. There's another way over here I want to go check. Yeah, I, I, I know about that way. Alright, it just doesn't open. Alright. Uh, oh, here we go. This, it's talking about the soul cube. Oh, huh, what's that? It's a it's a weapon of some sort. So. I wonder what it is. Who would know? <laughs> what? You're not allowed to come in when you're with me? Yeah. Okay, you can go in now. I I'll wait for you, Ken. Don't worry. Had it. Please. What? My glad start chamber cycle? There we go. Oh. I have to go in a few times. Hey. Oh, oh. Delicious. Unable to lock onto destination. Plasma conduit error. Okay, we're not supposed to be here yet. Good job. God damn it, we gotta go through this again. Or what? Do you taste destiny? Wait, wait, wait. This door doesn't open again. Rip. Alright, time to split up look for Don't fucking knock me into there. Yeah, it's 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 now glitchy as fuck. What do we do? I, I don't know. I I thought we weren't supposed to be here yet. Do you think we done fucked up? I think we fucked up somehow. I'm glad. <laughs> Fuck it. Hang on. Oh, no, now I'm back with him. <laughs> Just kill yourself, Ken. It's the only way. Come to me, Ken. Your soul will be mine in co-op LPs forever. You know, I'm going to try and make the jump. Okay, well, I'll just continue on without you. Wait, what am I talking about? I got rockets. Why? I, I, as I said, I don't Couldn't think make the jump. We're not supposed to be there. Yeah, no shit. Oh, we didn't have a full health pool. You suck. Hey. I held. Alright, so there's Delta Labs Sector 2 or Delta Labs Sector 3. Let's try Sector 2. Sector 2, yeah. So Motherfucker. Look at the hood. Ah, fuck it. ah, karma. You laughed at me. Now I get to laugh at you. Well, now you laughed at me. Oh, God. Why is Plasma the weapon the best weapon? This is a dumb question. You know it's a dumb question. Damn it. I want to get I want to get all those a a armor shards. Karen, teach me your way. Alright, I forgot you can't jump. Just because I'm white. Oh, there's another, <laughs> there, good. there's another platform there? Wow. Oh, there. Wait, I didn't even crouch jump. I just kind of just jumped normally. Maybe wow. that's the secret. Also, I'm out of stamina from all of that. Oh, I remember this bit. Nothing bad happens here at all. You were saying? <laughs> uh, hey! Are you okay? So, if you guys haven't figured it out, this is how they um, deal with uh, the fact that there's guys that, you know, got zombified when they came back through the portal or whatever. They lock them up. Kind of a part of the. Dream. Actually, these are just. They knew. Offices. Yeah, but they but they, they were in jail for a reason. They knew. 
Go to the Damn. sector security and terminate ops lockdown. What? God damn! So many imps! Is this where sector security is? Probably. Elevator access denied. No. I just called it. Oh, did you? No, maybe not. It's not maybe it's like... Because I've seen a lot of things, like I watched the, some of the footage back and... Things that were displaying for you weren't displaying for me. Uh. So, yeah. Well, we can go to Sector 3. You can see what's over there. Sector 3? Oh, yeah, research office. Uh, see, uh, sorry, the uh, security office is here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, it's, it's not as bad as a pinky, like they are supposed Warning. to be. Halo systems active. A halo. I'm flapping. The halo systems are active. Uh, I wonder if the Master Chief is in there. Uh, what if Cortana's in there? Uh. Arbiter? The references are real. He still hit me anyways, or maybe that was you. But I, then again, uh, it was my own fault for going... Like This is fucking like seizure warning right here. Trigger warning. Behind, kind of. Behind the servers, there's, there's, there's poo there. Well, of course, you go behind the servers. Of course I do. I, I want to see, like, uh, the, the computer stuff. And there's an armor down here. Nice. Go my way. Fuck! <laughs> they just hit me! <laughs> I did hit- I, I, I didn't hit you, though. I missed. So it doesn't count. Ah, uh, that poor skeleton. It wasn't a skeleton. It was- It was when I saw it. Medical report 16 <laughs> You could fire blindly into the darkness there. That zombie had some fucking health. Show him the shock and didn't die. Oh look, open security hatch. Oh shit. Oh you found one. Yep. I, I didn't know I didn't know that one existed. Steve Jensen, October 18, 2145. UAC psychologist Dr. Hooper interviewing Steve Jensen, male, age 27. <clears throat> Steve, can you talk to me about the last few weeks, please? I don't want to talk. Well, I'm here to help you, Steve. I've tried talking. They think I'm crazy. You think I'm crazy. They, your colleagues, aren't doctors. Let me help you. Help? Nothing can help us. Prior sessions over a period of okay. 72 hours revealed a Whatever. deterioration. It's it's not anything. It's not even an audio log. Yeah. Just TLDR people going nuts. Oh, you got another one there. Yeah, I see that. Oh no, they took a body over there. Oh, it's a spook. Fuck. <laughs> Another one. And you get a nip. And you get a nip. Everyone's gonna get Look under your That's seat. Number one. <laughs> What's behind magical door number one? Do -do 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 so Ken, Ken is doing the puzzle, so you just press one, and it's uh, getting this item. I don't know what's in them, but uh, oh, <laughs> spooky skull! Ew! Absolutely disgusting. Let me try and see what's in. Them. Alright. Well, nine we don't want. It's in five. Nothing. I'm gonna get what's in three. Uh, set, set location to load bin. The 
puzzle is real. We ju jump, 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 go. What? Oh, whoops. You, you're like telling me to jump a little bit early, I can't. God damn it, can't. Fine on my screen. I don't know, no, I'm like, I'm like, I'm wondering when I was supposed to jump, you know? Alright, then you get number three. Well, let's see what's in number three anyways, just because I'm interested. It's another skeleton. Fucking hell. There's so many skeletons. It's why can't there be a BFG in them? <laughs> Soon. Come to me, Monchetti. I, I got on your head somehow. Alright, let's go. What a good idea. There was, there was no real spook, it was just, uh, just like... What's the sound? Oh. Uh, well, thank, thanks a lot. You get to hear it. Man, that puzzle was hard. Well, it's hard because you, you, you just led me. Thanks to GameFAX for the, uh, the help there. Oh, wait. It's like, this one was like eight. Uh, oh. I don't know what the code is for this. Fuck, I had the code before. I, I'm pretty sure I had it before. Yeah, I remember you telling me that you knew this one. one so, second. intermission. Da 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 da. Ah, uh, no. uh, I got it now. Sick. All right. Da 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 da. Yes. Oh. Alright, we have a new weapon. It is the most iconic weapon of, of the Doom games. Big fuck. Dude! Dude! Oh, <laughs> uh, I can't close it on you. It's spinning me! I, I don't even see that, though. You don't see me spinning? It's very slow. <laughs> it's It looks kind of weird. What? I I'm in the gun, one of it. Oh, I, no, I do have it. Fuck! Get off of it. There you go. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I looted it from outside. Yeah, I see the spinning. You see? Yeah. It's very slow. Yeah, I tried that already. Nice try, though. <laughs> I think I'll just try. Alright, we'll, 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 we'll use it to kill something. So you can. It's oh. a, in this game, you can charge it up, or you can just fire just one. Alright, activate Your oxygen purge. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait, there's a, there's a locker code. Not, uh, 972. Okay. 116. Did you know about this? No, I just saw the thing. BFG ammo. Sweet. Remember, kids, use it all. Oh, here we go. Unlock offices. Alright, it's time. It's happening. We're ripped, dude. I heard a I heard a revenant. Oh there he is. Oh, I didn't even kill him in one hit. Have fun I'll with that. get him. Remember the BFG reload being pretty cool. Eh, it's alright. Alright. Now these are open. Phil Wilson. Best name. Wilson? Uh, I hope these guys have some, have some adrenaline. I want to get fast again. Uh, here's a conga line zombie formation. If missed for its effectiveness. And spied by TF2. <laughs> I think we're done there. Storage archives. It's a bunch of PDAs. I'm not trying to get shed PDAs. Uh, yeah, we share them. Uh, I, I have two of them I gotta look at. I'll do that in a minute. Ow! Sorry, you were right behind him when I shot. My feelings. He spawned over here, for whatever reason. Alright.
Must and be nice to have stamina. It, it's, it feels pretty good, man. Because I'm not, I'm not jumping around like an idiot. If I lift like you, can I run that fast? <laughs> what if you do really heavy squats? Whoops. Oh, you killed it. Alright. Well, we have a locker code 114 here, but I will have a look first at the PDAs. Let's see if there's someone. Guess... Yeah, okay, there's an audio thing, so let me. I'll guard the door. Okay. Audio log for Phil Wilson, medical technician, the Delta Labs, October 20th, 2145. Today, I witnessed the third test of the teleporter in the three weeks that I've been here. Volunteers are becoming harder and harder to come by, and it isn't difficult to see why. They all come back screaming like loons about demons, pools of blood, it's real fire and brimstone stuff. At first, I wasn't paying much attention, just doing my job, but the last was Robert Clayton. Now, I met him my first day here. This guy chews up rocks and spits out gravel. He's tough as they come. Having to sedate him and drag his drooling body to the isolation room, it's really freaked me out. I'm going to put in for a transfer as soon as I'm able. Um, okay, I got one more PDA to look at. As requested, the following is my initial feedback on my first trip through the portal. Private First Class Frank Cinder stated October 15th, 2145. I, uh, I don't know exactly where to begin. Obviously, I survived the first trip and feel no worse for the wear. I, I'm not feeling any of the symptoms reported by the others who have gone in before me, but I'm at a point where I'm still trying to process everything. Thankfully, the place looks deserted and devoid of any life, but, uh, the flames and heat and stench of the place. It, it smells of death, decay, and burnt flesh. Tomorrow we're going back in with some of the eggheads, um, science division, to start securing forward positions, and we expect to start sending out the mapping droids at the same time. I feel I must admit on a personal note that I, I, I've got a really, really bad feeling about this. I don't understand what we're doing there, or, or, or what we hope to prove. PFC Cinders, signing off. Okay, no PDA codes. Damn. 715. <laughs> hey. It was, it was on a post-it note. Right there, look at it. That's crazy. Oh, fuck! <laughs> That's, you're not supposed to do that. That's a breach of security. Well, luckily, I wasn't looking for it when I was fucking around. Not Good cool. job. Now there's an oh, elevator. Hey, shots. The fuck's wrong with this? Oh, this is why the elevator wasn't uh, was malfunctioning. Come on down. Throw grenades at it. Okay, come on in. Rip. Go. You know, we could have thrown a grenade at it and, and gotten to the other floor. Yeah. Actually, it's a fair point. You could. Shit. Could have done that. Rip. Oh, wow. I got stopped by a zombie by going through this door. LAPD! Uh, Fuck, I hate having no stamina. Gah. I don't know how you don't have it. Alright, this guy's fine. Excellent. That will get I have a water run on. Again. Now you don't have much time. You're going to need to teleport across the containment chamber. It's the only way through this part of the complex. Head into the chamber and initiate the sequence on the machine. I'll take care of the rest. I'm not going with you. Good luck. But before you go, I want you to take something. It's a journal I made about the experiments. Those things. It's all there. It'll explain everything. Get it to someone so this never happens again. Alright, I want to watch this video that you just gave me. Uh, give me a sec. My name is Ian McCormick. 
and I am a research specialist stationed on Mars, working for the UAC. My primary job is, or rather was, to assist Dr. Malcolm Petruber in a variety of experiments, though for the past year we've been focusing almost exclusively on teleportation. I don't know if I'll make it out of here alive, so I'm recording this video log to let someone know what happened. And with that knowledge, prevent it from happening again. Initially, the teleportation experiments were amazing. We were creating a new science, and the prospects of it changing our way of life were, well, they were outstanding. I was proud to be associated with such an amazing project and someone as talented as Dr. Vertruber. We noticed early on, well, probably before we would have completed maybe a dozen successful tests, that there was a variable delay during the teleportation. The objects are broken down at the quantum level, transported, and then reassembled. Each stage of the process should have been instantaneous, but it, it wasn't, and we didn't know why. We sent a video drone through and were shocked at the images sent back. Just a few frames of video right before the drone came back through showed what appeared to be several sets of eyes looking directly at the probe. We had just found a living, breathing creature that was not human. But Truger immediately sent out a request for volunteers. He specifically wanted UAC security force members because he wanted to capture one of these creatures. <sighs> I've made a lot of mistakes, but I am most ashamed of my involvement during the next phase. To get medical clearance to send human subjects through the device, I... I doctored up several of our reports to indicate that we had performed living tissue experiments. I did not regret it at the time, but a few days later, when our third test subject came back, he was chewing off his own fingers. It seemed he was clinically insane. He started sending teams in about once every two days. The teams were reporting nightmarish experiences, sightings of things that ultimately made us conclude that the other dimension was not just another dimension. It was hell, and the creatures we were bringing back, demons. And then Petruger, he went through the portal himself. I, I don't know what he was thinking. It was an unscheduled trip, and he just went, and we couldn't stop him. And when he came back, he had changed. He sounded and looked the same, but he just... I, I don't know, he, he was just different. And then he did the unthinkable. He took the Soul Cube, the device that was discovered in the ruins, into the portal. The portal stabilizers just started to fail. And then... Living hell erupted into the base. Oh, we were stupid for not destroying the portals as soon as we realized what was on the other side. Oh God, forgive me. I blame myself for my part in this. Please, someone, never let this happen again. I'm sorry, Ian McCormick. That was long as fuck. All right, let's go. Sorry, Cam. Can I kill him? Um, uh, sure. Knock yourself out. Get out to the I'm ready here. Satisfied? Good enough. Ah, fuck! Why does it let you in? I don't get it. Decontamination complete. Alright, go ahead. Have a nice day. Okay. Uh, uh oh. Oh, wait, replace conduit error before proceeding. Uh oh. Where's the conduit thing? No! Cad! No! You came in here! You fool! Oh, wait, now it's okay. The hell? Why am I looking at you? Fuck! That was a really- What just happened? That was an out-of-body experience. I'm guessing we just got teleported. That's what happened. That yeah. Fucking weird.